Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Mommy Steffi, your mom magnificent. So today video, I will be sharing you kung magkano ba talaga ang nagastos namin nung ipinanganak namin si Cassie last year, November 14, 2019 sa isang private hospital through normal delivery. So please keep on watching! So mga maps, sa panahon ngayon, mahal mga anak. So pag nabuntis tayo, magsisimula yung gastos from the prenatal checkups, medicine, laboratories like ultrasound, and also hanggang delivery. So ako, I decided to choose an, uh, um, a private hospital. Well, I'm located here in Antipolo, so I decided to... Um, mga anak sa Junisio Cornell Medical Center. This is located along Marcos Highway kasi it's 5 to 10 minutes ride lang siya. So, dito sa statement of account, may two portion siya. One for mommy and one for baby. Well, ang actual charges ko talaga, let's start with baby first. Okay. Actual charges for baby is three thousand one hundred fifty, okay, including the laboratories, central room, uh, supply room, nurse station, and miscellaneous. Now, since I do have a pill health, and lakin na deductions ko, ang deductions ko is two thousand four hundred and fifty. So all in all, ang binayaran binayaran ko lang is. 700 pesos. However, wala pa tong professional fee. Later, di discuss ko kung paano, ano requirements para magpal ng pindal, para ready kayo. So, sa professional fee, including the vaccine and the pedia, ang total is 7,300 pesos. Pero, may deduction si Bill Health ng 500. So, ang total ko, all in all, nakadedak ako na one two so ang total ko is seven thousand five hundred pesos kay baby palang ito yan nakalagay ko pa paid paid so next is kay mommy ang malaki na nabayaran ko dito is tatlo alright yung room and board ko operating room and professional fee. So, mahal kasi yung room and board ko kasi naka-private ako. So, ang rate ko is 1.6 per night. So, there, ang total ko for actually 3 days ako dun eh. Kasi, like, uh, aberya ako sa pill health ko. Kaya, I'm, I'm sharing this para hindi na mangyari yung nangyari sa akin. Ang total bill ko for everything except for the professional fee is 10,283. Pero ang covered lang na field health na madedak is yung operating room. Ito yung mga ginamit sa akin ng anak ako. Is 3,000. Imagine, 3,000 yung deduction, diba? So, ang total ko with the professional fee is 7,283. Now, let's talk with the professional fee. So, medyo malaki yung professional fee. Alam mo, bata ako, gusto ko talaga maging doktor eh. Diba? Ang laki ng kita mo, isang, isang tao ka ng anak mo. Magpapanganak ka, diba? So, sa professional fee, 2,000 lang yung nadedak. Pero, not bad na rin, diba? So, all in all, well, 27,000 yung doktor. Yung doktor. Laki, diba? All in all, dito kay mommy, na bill is 34,283.32 okay so if you will add the mommy's bill and the baby's bill ang total is 41,783.32 so most likely naka-discount ako ng 7,000 through Feel health benefit. Kasi nga sabi ko nga, I am employed. So, um, nagamit ko. Kasi every month naman ako, nagko-contribute ako. So, may benefit pala yon 
kapag kunyari nakapuntahin ka o kaya anything na napunta ka sa hospital. So, paano nga ba i-file or ano yung mga usual requirements na nire-record ni hospital para makapag-file ka ng yung PhilHealth Benefit? Sa akin kasi tatlo ang um, nire-record ni hospital. So, one is MDR or the Member Data Record. So, makukuha mo siya sa PhilHealth. Pwede mo makuha sa mga ano, yung kios lang sa mga kios. Ito. Second is the Certification of yeah, Certification of Contribution. Pwede to sa PhilHealth Main Office or PhilHealth or company ata. Pero ito nakuha ko to sa Main Office. And then lastly, ito, kasi since I'm employed, yung CSF or Claim Signature Form. So, you need to fill this up everything. So, ito, minsan binibigay ni hospital. And then, pinapapill up. And then, kailangan may perma ng employer. Authorized signature from the employer. Ayan, nakalagay siya dyan. So, there. So, ito yung mga uh, kailangan asikasuhin ni husband or kasi naman magiging kasama niyo sa hospital para matik advantage niyo yung field health benefits mo. Kasi malaking bagay din yun eh. From, actually from around 47 plus dapat yung bill ko, it went down to 41,783.32 dahil nga sa my field health benefit ako. So, there you go. That's the total bill nung nanganang ako sa isang private hospital. So, again, keep mga moms. Kung hindi naman natin afford uh, mga anak sa private hospital, it's fine to uh, mga anak sa isang public hospital or lying. So, as long as comfortable kayo and afford nyo. Okay? Kasi, Again, guys, after yung mga anak, mas malaki yung magiging um, mas malaki yung magiging gastos nyo. Kasi lumabas sa si baby, nandiyan na yung mga toiletries, pampers, milk, tapos yung mga vaccines pa niya. Sobrang daming gastos. So, um, we need to be practical. Bang. Okay? There you have it. That's the end of my video. So, please subscribe, like, comment, and share on this video. Thank you, mga moms. Bye-bye.